welcome on the fifth day of the annual novena of the founders of the church in Quebec, who also shaped the faith and history of our Canadian country. This year, the theme of the novena is Engaged in God's Project. Today, we will hear our primate, Cardinal General Lacroix, presenting a text expressing the wish of the Holy Jesuit martyrs to fully embrace the will of God. Listen carefully how they describe their self-surrendering. I abandon to your example all those things for the sake of the salvation of souls whom you consider to be yours, whom you love to the point of death, and of whom you said, what you did to the least of these you did to me. I would do it with all my heart in consideration of the greatness of your adorable majesty, who deserves that a man should generously abandon himself in order to faithfully accomplish what he judges to be your will for him and the particular inspirations which you are pleased to give him for the sake of your greater glory. The Jesuit missionaries who came to evangelize in New France in the New World had received a spiritual formation rooted in prayer and contemplation. And they were also formed with a very intense missionary apostolic spirit. The lives of the Canadian martyrs are edifying and inspiring. The young Jesuit priest, Gabriel Lalma, describes his deepest desire to leave his native France to come to Canada with these words. I surrender to your example all those things for the salvation of souls that you consider yours, that you love to the point of death, and of whom you said, what you do to the least of these you do to me. It is necessary that your name be adored, that your kingdom be extended by all the nations of the world. Father Gabriel had poor health. It is said of him that he was a soul of fire in a fragile body. However, this did not prevent him from being a great missionary in the immense territory of our country, preaching the gospel and celebrating the sacraments. He burned with the desire to lead everyone to an encounter with Christ the Savior. Like many of the Jesuit missionaries who came to evangelize in New France, he offered the ultimate testimony of his faith in martyrdom. Missionaries could not be mediocre. They had to opt for heroism or leave, which happened in a few cases, but most were animated by an incandescent zeal. For too long we have spoken of martyrdom in terms of torture, executioners, and hatred of the faith. The language of the Second Vatican Council helps us to adjust our way of speaking about martyrdom. The martyr is first of all a witness who has followed Christ to the point of giving his life to attest to the truth of the salvation that comes through him and his gospel. The determining criterion of martyrdom is positive. To give one's life for Christ to one's brothers and sisters as a sign of the greatest love. The church is in great need of martyrs, ready to give their lives for the gospel, to follow Christ and to cooperate in the mission of making him known, loved, and served. Let us be inspired by these holy laymen and priests who have left us the witness of faith and their blood. Lord, Call again today men and women to follow you, to make the gift of their lives to be missionary disciples in the midst of the world of our time committed to God's project. The world needs luminous, coherent, 
and loving witnesses of Christ and also of the humanity. May the Canadian martyrs intercede, God our Father, so that a new generation of saints may arise in our country. Amen. We are again grateful to Cardinal Lacroix for his insightful commentary. Following the traces of the Holy Jesuit martyrs will not be easy for you, since they traveled on foot all year long. Luckily for us, we can still find in the old city center of Quebec the remnants of their first chapel and precious relics that you may venerate not only in their actual chapel, but also in the chapel of the Augustinian Sisters and the Basilica Cathedral, all located very close to one another. What a splendid pilgrimage that would be. We will meet again tomorrow on the fifth day of our novena to hear more from St. Marie of the Incarnation. Until then, may God bless you all.